Good morning, I'm Margaret Larson. Welcome on this beautiful Monday. We start today with a famous face that a lot of you will remember. Danica McKellar was a young actress who got her start playing Winnie Cooper on The Wonder Years, and people loved her. But what most people don't know about her is that she is also an accomplished mathematician and an author. I recently spoke to her about her new book that's helping demystify math for kids and parents. You look exactly like I would imagine Winnie to have grown up looking. <laughs> oh, it's great to see you. What a wonderful, wonderful show to be part of, The Wonder Years. What does it mean to you to have been part of that? You know, it's funny. Some people say, oh, are you like, tired of being called Winnie Cooper or are you tired of the whole Wonder Years thing? And I think that I went through a phase when I was a teenager when I was over it. And then <laughs> it's like, well, uh, it's a good thing I got over that um, because truly it is such a gift to have been a part of a show that so many people love and so many people have cherished memories with. You know, they right. watched it with their families and, and they, they learned life lessons through it. And now those same people are watching me on the Hallmark Channel on my Christmas movies and they're buying my math books to their kids. It's just a, a beautiful circle. It's like we all it's grew a up. wonderful thing. Yeah, yeah, we all grew up together and now we're still doing things. And now you're adults doing things. And you've made a yeah. number of Hallmark movies. You mentioned the five Christmas movies, but tons yeah. of those written books. You're on your 10th book. Yes, um, I can't believe it. You're a mathematician, <laughs> and you're trying to demystify math a bit for kids and for parents. Tell me about this latest book. Yeah, well, so as we're all aware, parents are in an unprecedented position where they've become more responsible for their kids' education. And so my 10th math book, I've been writing math books for a long time, and I've got mckellarmath.com as my website. I've got books for ages 0 to 16 there. And just now, this is the, so the Times Machine is my most recent book. It's my 10th book, and it's for third and fourth grade, really second through fifth, anyone who's learning multiplication and division. And it actually in the gap. So there's this big gap in my curriculum of books that I'd written. And just in time, um, just a couple weeks ago, this book came out and it's like, wow, what incredible timing because it's actually really needed. Parents are really struggling helping their kids with their math homework, especially because the math looks different from how it did when we were growing up. Right. It's for like first and second grade, um, this book behind me, Do Not Open This Math Book, uh, the addition and subtraction techniques look different. The multiplication and division techniques look different. So in both books, at the back of it, I have a new math new math translation guide for grownups. <laughs> Thank all goodness. Of, because well, we're not, you know, we feel like, okay, we did okay in school with math. You know, mm -hmm. it wasn't a, a total disaster. And then you start right. looking at new math and the new ways that kids are learning math. And it just feels like it's another mathematical language. So your books exactly. really do serve as this translation guide so that kids can get help from parents who feel confident to give it. Yeah, and, and you know, for me, it's all about, like, you can probably tell from the books behind me, these are all my McKellar math books. No, they're not even all shown. It's, they're colorful. They're, they're like, like this, the Times Machine. You know, it's a, a ton of, uh, like, graphic novel style right, comic right. cartoons because I really, I love math but I know not everybody loves math. <laughs> I also love entertainment. I've been an actress my whole life. So I thought, well, why not write entertaining math books? And especially at a time like now when parents are looking for resources to supplement their education, to help out because a lot right. of learning has been going on and everybody knows about the summer slide where kids forget things over the summer, but this time there was a lot of stuff that wasn't even learned and I'm so glad to help. And I want to mention also, besides just my math books and making math super fun and, and accessible, I also have, I've been homeschooling my son his whole life. He's nine years old. I was about to mention and, that. Yeah. And I have a ton of little videos that I've made that are on my Instagram. I'm just at Danica McKellar. And if you go there to the highlights, which are those circles in the front of my page on Instagram, click on the one that says school at home. And I have a ton of little things that I've learned that work um, to help kids focus, at least my kid. And, and I've been sharing all these videos. And, and I know that parents need that right now. So I'm excited to be able to tell your audience about that. That is so important because there is, you know, there's been all this tumult in society around the pandemic in the home where, you know, parents are working and teaching kids and kids are bored and school is different. And it feels like you kind of came along way before the curve and got <laughs> right in that space where we need to get the additional information, the encouragement, and I hope the confidence to help kids. 
Yes, that, that's a great point, the confidence, because every parent wants to feel that. Every parent wants to be their kid's superhero. I can explain this. I can tell you how this goes. And, and so that's why the books are, you know, especially the Do Not Open This Math book and the Times Machine, because of the ages they're for, which is like first and second grade. This is really second through fifth grade. It's that age where, you know, we're reading picture books with our kids. And so you can read it with your kid and like I'll read the Dan because of a Danica cartoon and there's a Mr. Mouse and there's Miss Squirrel. So there's different characters that you can play and fill in the different voices. It's a lot of fun. And, and so, yeah, let's make it accessible and fun for parents to help their kids and take the scary part out of math. Yeah, I'm all for that. And I think you're, you hit it right on the head that your creativity and artistic background and expressive background combined with, you know, I don't know if it's unusual or not, some real interest in math and, <laughs> and being a mathematician and bringing that together to make it more accessible to people all together. But I can't leave without asking you about the reboot for the Wonder Years, which yes. I understand will deal with a different family in a different time. Yes. But what can you tell us about that? Well, First of all, I'm not involved with it at all. I found out about it when, when Fred told me the night before it got announced to the world. <laughs> that was the first I'd heard about it. Like, oh. your co-star. Right, yeah. So he emailed me, he goes, hey, by the way, uh, I know I've always said that we would never do a reboot, but, and so I was like, wow, that's really interesting. I mean, it's going to be told from a very different perspective, uh, a different city, um, a whole, it's a whole different world. So, I mean, I'm hopeful that it's, it will both, you know, um, honor our show uh, and also really do justice to the realities of growing up black in America in the 1960s. Uh, I don't know how that's going to be an uplifting show, but I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm an audience member like you guys. I'm, I'm hopeful and, uh, and I'm, I'm hoping for great things. We'll see. Well, I am too, because I think, as you mentioned, your show taught a lot of people a lot. And so examining the same sorts of issues and new issues from the standpoint of an African-American family in the 60s in the civil rights movement, yeah. between that and the timeliness of your math help, is just, <laughs> <laughs> boom, the Wonder Years comes back and saves the day again. <laughs> well, I certainly hope I can save and help a lot of parents. I'm a parent myself. I know how great it is to be a parent and also how challenging it can be. And I, and I really love the idea that I can be here to help parents who are, yes, in this unprecedented situation where they're like, I'm teaching my kids and I've got to go make dinner and I've got emails to answer and I'm trying to juggle a job on top of it. She's completely amazing. We've posted more from Danica's interview online on our website with some bonus homeschooling tips that you'll want to see.